Fire in the pit barrel hole, let's cook a cabbage. That's right, you heard me right, cabbage. This is the new vegetarian edition of the Root Boy Cook, so stay tuned. Welcome to the new vegetarian edition of the Root Boy Cooks. What I got here is a cabbage, and I've cored out the inside of it, and we're going to uh, stuff this with some stuff, and then we're going to smoke them on the pit barrel. It's going to be great, you'll see. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, throw some garlic down there. We've got some squeezed garlic. We're going to squeeze a dollop of that in there. Then we're going to take about a quarter stick of butter and stick that down in there. A quarter stick of butter, mash that down on top of that garlic. Then we've got some green bastard barbecue spice. We're going to take some of that and shake that in there. I really like this spice, GB. I'm liking it a lot. So let's go again with some more garlic. Quite a bit of garlic right there. About another quarter stick of butter. Stuff it down in there. If you think that's a lot of butter, don't worry about it. A little bit more of GB's rub. In fact, you want to get GB's rub all over that cabbage. A little bit more garlic. That garlic is going to infuse down in that cabbage. Got another quarter stick of butter to go on top of that. And mash that down in there. A little bit more of GB's rub. The green bastard. If you want to know how to get some green bastard rub, I'll put a link in the description. And you can go to his uh, channel and ask him to, to sell you some or give you some. Anyway, here's the rest of that stick of butter. I think that's going to be it. Just put a little bit more green bastard rub on there. Get that done. Let me wipe my hands real quick. Okay, now we're gonna take some, uh, I, got a, I got a beer right here I'm getting ready to put on there. First we gotta take some aluminum foil. Let's open up my beer. I got some supermarket beer for this. This is just for, to cook with. I'm gonna take some aluminum foil and it's gonna make uh, the uh, range finder on my camera go wild, but that's okay. So let's get some aluminum foil underneath that. There you go. You never want to kind of just make a little uh, a little bug for that because we're going to pour some beer on top of that. But first, we got to get some strips of this uh, this uh, this is. Uh, vegetarian strips of stuff right here. You, uh, you may not be familiar with these. This is that vegetarian stuff. I'm gonna lay that on top of there like that. You know, no meat here anymore. We're, we're strictly vegetarians. So we're just gonna lay these uh, strips of, can you see that? Strips of uh, vegetarian stuff. That's right, it's vegetarian stuff. That's what I'm calling it. That's the ticket. Yeah, it's gonna get that vegetarian stuff on there. Some vegetarian, strips of vegetarian stuff. There you go. That's what I'm calling it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. A Couple more strips of that. There's one there. One more, I think. A Couple more strips of vegetarian stuff. There you go. Pretty nice so far, huh? That's, uh, it's all vegetarian right there. Nothing, uh, no animal products in this at all. We're gonna kind of gather this up a little bit because we want to pour some beer on there. Whoops, slippery. That vegetarian stuff is slippery. So we're gonna pour some beer on there. About a half a beer. Then we're gonna fold this up, close this up to keep that beer in there. We're not gonna wrap it too tightly because we want that smoke to get to it, and we want that those strips of vegetarian stuff to cook in there too. So that's about all we're going to do to it right there. Just a little bit of wrapping. I'm going to get that on the pit barrel, and I'll show you what it looks like on there. And it's got to smoke for about two and a half hours, so uh, stay tuned. My cabbage is on the pit barrel. He's got that beer in there. He's got those vegetarian strips on top of the cabbage. 
He's packed up with green bastard rub, garlic, and butter. He's got to sit there for about two and a half hours. So we're going to uh, come back in a little while and check on him. And meanwhile, while we're waiting, got some applewood in the pit making some smoke. And uh, meanwhile, while we're waiting for that to cook, I think we should have a beer, don't you? Stay tuned. All right, it's finally beer 30. Not a minute too soon. Here's today's amazing beer. There's the Frosty Root Boy mug. Here's today's amazing beer, Bob's First Ale from uh, the Magic Hat Brewing Company. Magic Hat has allowed some of their 4.6 alcohol, so it's sessionable, They've allowed some of their employees to try out different recipes. This is, says the ancient ritual of brewing, a distinctly rich and flavorful beer is a performance to behold. Our mysterious melange of time-honored ingredients harmonized with chaotic chemistry, humble patience, and blind faith to the creator to create this unique beer. Magic Hat Brewing Company, Irish style red ale. Sounds good to me. Let's pour it out and find out. Irish style red ale sounds like something Dan would like. Let's pour some. Oh boy, it's red all right. There's no doubt about that. Irish style red ale and it's sessionable at 4.5 ABV Bob's first ale that Bob has brewed his first ale let's take a sniff of that whoa it looks good doesn't it it's definitely red it smells great it smells excellent just like a red ale should let's take a let's quaff the froth off it roll what do you think Mmm. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. Magic Hat never lets me down. Magic Hat Brewing Company, Bob's first ale. That's today's beer, babies. Let's check on our cabbage, our vegetarian cabbage. Stay tuned. My smoked cabbage is looking excellent. All those juices stayed in that foil. I'm going to take a knife. Look at that, uh, that vegetarian stuff is looking pretty good too. It's looking pretty, pretty crispy right there. I think I'll take a taste of that. Oh yeah, that's got nothing to do with uh, a pig. Let me take that off there. Look at all that butter in there. Let me cut right into the middle of that. Oh boy. That's as tender as can be. Awesome, I didn't bring a fork. So I'm going to have to uh, probably burn my fingers on this. But yeah, some of that cabbage. Oh man, I love cabbage. Cabbage is awesome. I love it. Smoked cabbage, doubly awesome. That's my video, babies. Like I always say, if you like this vegetarian crap, uh, Please subscribe. If you don't, go up and see a dude called Cajun Cravings or Craving Cajun or Cajun Cravings or something like that. Anyway, he's a cool dude. He's cooking up some Cajun food for you. So go see Cajun Cravings. Subscribe to me. Come back next week for another amazing, completely vegetarian dish. And uh, I got to tell you, you know, these, uh, these strips of uh, vegetarian stuff are really good. Mmm. Tastes like something I've had before. Can't put my finger on it. Excellent. Excellent cook, babies. Thank you for watching. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. Come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but we will drink a beer, and this red ale is excellent. Bye.